What's up guys, today we're gonna talk a little bit about creating smart notifications for your smart home. Create custom interactive notifications based on things like your location, time of day, and of course your HomeKit smart home devices. We're gonna be using the PushCut app for this. Now if you don't know much about this app and you're a HomeKit user, you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss this one. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit platform with new videos published every Sunday right here. Today's video is brought to you by Trend Micro. I've been using their premium security suite to protect all of my devices against malware, viruses, ransomware, and other threats. You can use this for up to 10 devices. It also turns any public hotspot into a secure Wi-Fi connection with the VPN. And you also get other great tools like identity theft protection, parental controls, and even 24 seven emergency assistance. This suite offers multi-device protection and will help keep you and your family's digital life safe and secure no matter where you go or what you do. Check out the link in the description for 10% off your purchase of the premium security suite and big thanks to Trend Micro for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. So what really inspired this video is a question that I've gotten a number of times and that is how can I get a notification if my door has been left open for a certain period of time within HomeKit? Now you can of course get regular notifications in HomeKit every time a sensor like your door sensor is opened, but that's not really what we want. We only want notifications if that door is left open for a while, a certain you know number of minutes. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that and even more with the PushCut app. Now with that said, if you aren't aware of the PushCut app already, it is a very powerful app. In a nutshell, it allows you to create these smart notifications that work with HomeKit shortcuts and other automations. And you can even do some pretty advanced stuff with this app like create an automation server for your shortcuts, which I did actually cover in a past video, I'll put a link to that below. It's sort of a more advanced process that does require a dedicated always on iOS device to run. So we're not gonna get into all that today. Today we're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna create a custom notification that we'll see every time our front door is open for longer than two minutes. When we get the notification, we'll then be presented with a few options. One, call the wife. Maybe I'm not home and I know she is. You know, I can call her and ask her, you know, what's going on with that open door. Or our second option will just be to open the home app. That way I can check my cameras, make sure the dog hasn't gotten outside, or even start an intercom to everyone in the house to tell them, hey, who left the front door open? Hey, who left the front door open? Sound good? Okay, let's jump in. I'm gonna be using my iPad to show you how to do this. Of course, you can do this on your iPhone. In fact, I usually use my iPhone when I'm doing stuff like this. All right, so like I said, we're gonna be using the Push Cuts app. Before we do this though, we're gonna to need to create a couple of shortcuts. So remember those uh, options that we're gonna be presented with in the notification, like to call the wife or to uh, open the home app. Those are actually going to be shortcuts that we're going to run. So you can run any shortcut within your notification, but first we need to create those. I do have these shortcuts already created. Uh, so I have a folder here called push cut and export for push cut is something I will mention in just a second, but you can see here, I've got two shortcuts, one called Caroline and the other one called open home app. So this simply is just one action call the wife, and this one right here, just the open app um, action, and we're gonna be opening the home app. So that's literally all that does. So once you have your shortcuts created that you wanna be able to use within this notification, you're good to go. So now we can go back to the Push Cuts app, and we're gonna go ahead and build this notification real quick. So to do this, uh, here's our notifications. Now, just a real quick rundown. I'm not, again, not gonna show you everything you can do here in the push cut app, but quick rundown. Notifications, this is where you build your notifications. The triggers, so you can create, create triggers here like location-based and time-based and stuff like that to run uh, any of these notifications that you create. 
automation server this here is kind of what i was mentioning earlier and then you have your account information over here so we're just going to kind of live over here in the notifications today so let's create a new notification we're going to call this let's do um front door open enabled is okay so notification this is going to be kind of the headline so we're going to say the front door was left open okay then the prompt here is going to say what do you want to do all right then we have some other options down here but we can test real quick see what this looks like now you can see the front door was left open. What do you want to do? So far, so good. Now let's simply add those actions. Okay, so this is pretty basic. Now you can do a lot of things here. You can get really creative and do some, again, really powerful, incredible things here. So this action right here, I'm just gonna say call wife. And it's gonna be a shortcut. So again, you can do lots of things. You can trigger your home kit scenes and stuff. So you can like, have a notification occur at a certain time of day or whatever and have all your home kit scenes right there within your notification and you can tap there so really fun cool stuff here i can't wait to see some of the ideas that you guys have but we're just going to run shortcuts here what you have to do to get your shortcuts in here this is that export to push cut um shortcut you saw earlier so the first time you run this you're going to have to import your shortcuts okay and to do that it's going to have you download and install that shortcut so what it's going to do it's going to take you uh, to the shortcuts app and you're going to be asked to install this export for push cut uh, shortcut okay and when you run that it's just going to import everything into the push cut app once you've done that once you'll see obviously all my shortcuts here you can tap the update shortcut button right here which is you see it jumped in there and it just ran that shortcut really quick so now all my shortcuts are visible here okay so i'm just looking for that call caroline shortcut okay keep notification so you can when turned on this action will leave the notification in notification center center until dismissed by another action or the dismiss button so you can turn that on if you want I'm gonna leave that off okay and that's it that's all we need to do there so that's one action I'm gonna add another action and again we want a shortcut this one's gonna be called open home app and let's do got to choose that shortcut open the home app okay and that's pretty much it. Now we can test it. Let's see what it looks like. The front door was left open. What do you want to do? When I tap it, you'll see here we have our options. We can call the wife. We can open the home app. Now I can go ahead and test it. And um, let's do open home app. Boom. Opens up the home app. I can then go check my cameras, you know, see what's going on. I can start an intercom. That's really it for what you need to set up, but you can do some more things here. Uh, you can create a default action. So this, like if you tap the notification directly, it'll run that action. You can change the sound here, create different sounds for this, which is neat. And you can add an image. So I like this. You can search, you know, online, look for whatever images you want. You can kind of import stuff here. This is one that I've imported already. So you can import your own images right here. This is just a little alert image that I found online. Tap add now, check this out. When I run this, your front door was left open. What do you want to do? Check out, it's got that little alert um, icon. You can tap on it. What do you want to do? Again, customize these however you want. I'm just going to dismiss. And that's really all you need to do to set up the notification part, okay? Now we need to create the automation part that will have this run when the door was left open for two minutes, okay? So I'll just tap add, done. Now we need to go back into the shortcuts app, okay? 
Now you can create your automations in the shortcuts app or the home app. There's actually a little bug on the Apple side when you're trying to do this in the home app. It's not a push cut issue. It's a bug I found with the Apple when you're just trying to test your automation when you're building this within the home app. So I would recommend go ahead and using the shortcuts app. Just go to the automation tab here and I'm just going to create a new home automation. So again, you can do home automations in the home app or in the shortcuts app. I'm going to do the shortcuts app and I'm going to tap a sensor detect something and I'm going to look for my front door sensor. Choose next. When the front door opens, choose next. And I'm going to scroll all the way down and you're looking for this right here. Convert to shortcut. That's what we need. Okay, so now we can kind of build out this automation. What happens when that front door opens? Okay, so I'm going to close this or I'm going to remove that one. Choose add action. Uh, so right now this is running as soon as the door opens. We need it to wait for two minutes, right? Then we want it to run and tell us that the door is still open. So to do that, we're just going to look for the wait action. Okay, we're going to add this here. We're going to put this on up to 120 seconds. So that is our two minute mark. Now we need to see if that door is still open. So to do that, let's do an if statement and tap this and you can actually select a home accessory right here. We're going to look for that same front door. Let's see, where are you front door? If the front contact sensor is open, then we're going to show our notification. So it's going to wait 120 seconds, two minutes. And then if that front door is open, so we need to look for URL right here. I'm going to move this on up in there. So if, so if the front door is open, we're going to get this URL. So now I need to go back to push cuts. Let's tap on our notification right here that we created and we need to copy URL. So I'm going to hit this and I'm going to copy URL. Okay. Now we can go back into our automation and we're going to paste our URL right here. Now we need to look for get URL, get contents of URL right there, drag it up here. It automatically pulled in that URL from the previous action and that's it. Otherwise, so if the door is closed, we don't need to do anything. So you can actually add a nothing action if you want. Sometimes I'll do this just to make it good, nice and complete. Now we can test it from here. So it's going to wait 120 seconds and then it's going to run that. You can see right here. I don't know if you can see that on screen, but it's kind of going through this timer. I'm going to turn this down to five seconds just for demonstration purposes and the front door is not open, so it's not gonna run that. I need to go open my front door so we can check to see if this works. Okay, so my front door is open now. Let's give this a test. Five seconds. All right, invalid URL. So let's check this again. I think I copied the wrong thing. Copy you. Oh, I copied the curl. You want to copy URL. So that's what I did there. So let's go back in here, paste, and let's try it again. Wait in five seconds. Oh, there you go. Since our front door is open, you can see it ran that successfully. Here is our notification. Tap that front door is left open. Let's see. Open home app. Boom, there we go. We can check our cameras, intercom, do whatever we want there. And really that's it. As you can see, it's done. Everything works fine. I'm gonna go ahead and move this back to 120 seconds. And this does work. I've tested this out and I will caution you if you use the wait action, uh, do test it out a lot before you kind of settle on things because I have run into issues when I use the wait action 
for too long. Sometimes it'll time out. Uh, two minutes is fine. I've done five minutes, I believe. Four or five minutes was okay. But after too long, you might run into some issues with that. So definitely test that out a good bit to make sure you're still getting those notifications and everything's working as you'd expect. Uh, but that's it. We are done with this automation. Uh, I guess I better go shut my front door before the dog gets out. So there you go, this is just a small glimpse of what's really possible when you start tapping into the power of this push cut app. Get creative and try to find some ways that you know you can make your smart home setup and maybe your life better by using this type of automation. And if you do come up with some cool ideas, please do share that down in the comments below so we can all kind of benefit and learn from each other. If you have any questions about any of this, drop that below and I'll do my best to get back to you. I wanna send a quick shout out and thank you to all of our channel members for supporting this channel financially. When you don't have to, you guys are really awesome and I'm just so grateful to have the support of so many great people. And if you haven't joined yet and you also wanna support the channel that way, you can join for about five bucks a month. Get access to member only perks like behind the scenes, uh, we have a members only discord community and early access to new videos before anyone else. And thank you guys so much just for watching today. Subscribe, hit the bell icon if you haven't already for new home kit videos every Sunday right here. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Again, my name is Shane and we'll see y'all next time.